Hi, my name is Tony Covley and I work for AgriLabs. Today we're at the Ag Plus test plot and uh, Ag Plus has invited us to be a part of this test plot this year and we've had some input on this test plot. Uh, we've done soil sampling for Ag Plus over the years and we're pri privileged today to be able to uh, participate in this test plot situation. Today we're standing in front of the boron test plot. Um, boron is one of the elements, the micronutrients that we um, use uh, in the plant to promote uh, sugar movement in the plant and to help with cell wall structure among other things. Uh, so this test plot really was designed to see if we could replace the application of dry boron broadcast over the field and kind of focus that uh, boron into the row starter. And so what we did was is we used uh, one quart, four quart, and eight quarts in a three by three by zero situation. We did not put it in the infro and we do not recommend you do that. Um, but we did uh, high rates of boron to see what effect that would have on yield. And we also wanted to see when would we hit boron toxicity. And as you can look down this test plot here, you can see that the one quart, four quart, and eight quart, uh, we saw a little bit of boron toxicity early on when the plant was little. But that, that grew out of that, and right, right today we have some pretty nice looking plants. As we go through the season, uh, with this dry weather we're experiencing and these hot weather, these hot weather conditions right now, um, we hope, to, hope this test plot finishes out strong. But at the end of the year we'll be able to see what effect boron rates had on the soybeans. We're now standing over at the corn test plot where we did the exact same trial on corn as we did soybeans. We added uh, the same one, one, four, and eight quarts of boron to a three by three by zero situation to check the toxicity level in the corn. And as you can see, that we, we saw a little bit of toxicity level early on in the corn when it was growing, um, but that grew out of it, and currently the corn today doesn't look too bad. We'll check back with you uh, later when we get the yield results.